We often get asked, what's it like having pooch crew? Well, it's not all fun and games. There's things like keeping them healthy and their jabs up to date. It has to be done on a regular basis. But there are lots of advantages. Pooches slow you down and get you out every day. If it hadn't been for our pooch crew, we probably wouldn't have stopped at half the places we have. Ryan and Brittany from Sailing Sunday organised to have a vet come down and see some of their animals. While the vet was in the marina, they organised for her to come round and see Oscar, just to give him a check up and bring his jabs up to date. There's a link to Sailing Sunday in the description. Go and check them out, they do some great work with animals. I thought I was going to spade you. <laughs> Oscar's quite an old soldier. He's 15 in May. Normally, patterdales don't last this long. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot. And he will you know what? Listen I'm to not going to film you because you're not going to be happy and we don't want that on camera. So I'm going to put the camera away when Who's we do gonna this. Who's going to cry first? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yep, right. and then you know where that's going. <laughs> Oscar's usually pretty good, but you know, he doesn't like injections. So we sat with him and bribed him with a few doggy treats. So much like us, Oscar has his own passport. He was fully inoculated before we left the UK. But it's time for his rabies booster. What a handsome chap. Proper passport photo. So back in the UK, it cost us about £170 to have all his injections done and an extra £100 for his passport to be issued. But now he's all up to date, with all three injections being given at once. And the vet left us a card, just in case there are any problems. Oh, and the cost? Just 50 euros. And the very next day, he was out dragging us around for a walkies. This is the fishing harbour. You can tell it's a fishing harbour by all the fishing boxes that have been cast aside. It is windy. Fish farm over there. More cormorants. Blustery old day. Oscar's enjoying his walk. Walk up to the end and see what's up there. The old harbour wall, there's a funny building. Not quite sure what it is, but it looks military. This is the view right from the end of the harbour wall, looking west. Now the wind's roughly west or southwest, and so the waves are breaking over the top of the wall. The wall's about 50 feet high, so you can imagine what size the waves are the other side of that wall. Probably a good three and a half metres, 10, 12 foot, something like that. So as I turn the camera, you can see that there's the fishing fleet in there. And that's the uh, fort that we climbed up to a couple of videos ago. It really doesn't look that windy, but I can assure you that the soundtrack was completely ruined by the wind. But we were only filming on our little camera as we hadn't really planned to take any video. At the end of the breakwater, we found this place. Spooky. <laughs> Look, it looks like they're coming, it looks like a fish sorting 
Now, I think these are like shower rooms because there's water pipes up there. I think it's a I think it's a billet. That's a boiler, isn't it? Or a storage tank, water tank. Yeah, it's hot water tank. Oh. Come on, Oz, this way. I think it's military. Strange. Mm. Right on our doorstep. Mm. These are all the doors that are blocked up from the inside. military is it's massively reinforced on the, on the roof. Strange. Rubbish everywhere. Come on, Mr. Oscar. We are over the other side of those two cement silos. A big boat comes in there about once every three weeks, and then they spend the next 48 hours non stop unloading it. Ever so noisy, quite a bit of dust as well. It's a doer upper, nice little winter project. What do you think? Probably get that for a few euros. Bit of woodwork. What do you reckon? Enjoy it. Yeah. That could be Oscar's boat. What do you think, Oz? It went for me, Dad. Much of a beach, Oz. Beach. I would say probably 90% of that is plastic from the fishing fleet. If we did a beach clean here, we'd be here for weeks. Makes you want to cry. <sighs> yeah, these these plastic the fishing. fishing boxes are just There must be a sustainable way of, of making... Come on mate, you've got to come this way. Come on. This way, good boy, come on. Come on. Hey! Not bad for a 15 year old dog. As we rounded the corner again, the wind got really bad. I felt a song coming on.
the end of the marina, that's where they stopped building. Literally just stopped. And we've got another room for another pontoon in here. Lots of sniffs, Oz, eh? So having a pooch crew does mean that you have to go ashore at least once a day, sometimes twice. And Oscar uses his green mat, but it means that we stop places and go places, well, we wouldn't normally stop at. And when we had Lady as well, well, there were two reasons to get off the boat morning and afternoon. So pooches on a boat can be a tie, but they can also be a blessing. I don't think we'll get another dog, but we wouldn't give this one up for the world. From a puppy, to a teenager, to a pretty grumpy old man, he's always part of our crew.